Facebook. Hi Facebook. Hi Facebook. Hi Facebook. Hi. Hi Facebook. Facebook We're gonna say a bigger hi. I love Facebook. <laughs> Charlotte. Nice. Everyone, everyone, go. Hi, hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to our final ever well, family hymn sing. For an eye. For this year. Yeah. Welcome well, to our. our we think final. <laughs> we have had. One of the most inspiring days of our life, being part of the very first Sing Global for the first day. Uh, and this also tonight, to round the day off, we thought it's Sing Global. It's uh, our final chance to do a family hymn sing before we go back home to Ireland. And it's also a Sunday night. So we thought, what more beautiful way to round off this week and to launch us into next week than to finishing the night with singing a few songs together. We've got a few friends. We have got the Pride of Trinidad back with us, Mr. Wendell Henry on the percussion. Arguably the finest Trinidad Trinidadian in history, along with Heather Headley and Brian Lara. We have got Zach and Maggie, now so famous that in the English, in the Britannica English Dictionary, they are one word, Zach and Maggie. <laughs> it is one word. We have got Emily Nelson playing us some cello. Please welcome Emily Nelson. She, she is American, but she looks Irish, which is fantastic. And then finally, uh, people have been asking me this in the last couple of weeks, why do you blame your wife for the family hymn sing? And, and the truth of the matter is, hey. it, it, it is in large part her fault, but, <laughs> but it is also a guy called Josh Sutton's fault because he decided it was a good idea and promoted it. And so in honor, in honor of, the, of, the, of, the, of the joint faultness that I'm giving the two of them for these things happening. Josh, what do you think of this? Josh, it's also we, we, have, fault. we have got the Sutton kids here tonight. Got, well, two of the, two, Ethan is probably sleeping Ethan, hopefully somewhere. Ethan, the little God willing is sleeping, and Talia, our youngest, is God willing is sleeping. Yeah, but we have Zoe here, and we have Sophie joining Wait, our no, girls. Wait, no, Zoe, Sophie, or... Yeah, so we're so excited to have them. So what's better than four daughters is having six for the day. So here it's we go. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, let's finish our day. Let's finish our day. We've finished many, many sing days with singing the doxology. Whoops. So in your homes, or wherever you are, or in your, or your watch parties all around the country, why don't you pick your harmonies? Four part, and we're going to sing the doxology. Here we go. So praise God from all blessings flow. Let's go. And praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. 
another great chorus thing over and over again. So we did some motions for this. You guys remember, you don't think you're hot and exhausted, but you say, praise the Lord. Remember, his mercy is more. Stronger than darkness, new every morn. Our sins, they are many. His mercy is more. Maybe so, Anna can help you. Yeah. yeah. If anybody swallowed a fly there. We no, a I had a few fly on me. Oh, can I? Is it? Oh, I love the big girl. Oh, it's good, isn't it, Josh? It's great. God's put a bite to the whole thing. It's fantastic. It's we'll call you great. back in a wee second. We, we'll have get had, some water. we have had an exhilarating and an exhausting day. Today at the, at the Sing Conference, today at Sing Global, we have been looking at the challenge, at the challenge for Christian families. It is true to say that for two, probably two and a half generations, the Christian family in the West has been in a decline. And one can't help but thinking that for the next year, being confined a little bit in our, in our appetite for all things social and everything else, 
and being around the subject of illness and death, and perhaps for many of us having less than we would have expected, it, it seems that the Lord in his mercy is giving us an opportunity to press reset. And, uh, and today, I, I guess our, our prayer is that, that for the next generation of children, today will have been a day where they come to love the Lord more, that they come to get more deep into the scriptures, that they come to, we, that we're building, that, that we're building, a, helping to build a generation of children whose imaginations are dazzling and are joyful and are creative and are imaginative so that in 20 years' time, Christians are known not just for being articulate about the Bible, but they're, that they're known for being joyful, creative, innovative people who, whose love pours out for others and the things that they do, but also that they, that they sing together, and that can be a part of that. And so it has been, it's been a pretty overwhelming day. Johnny, Tata, Johnny Erickson Tata kicked us off, and uh, contributions from... Creative, uh, um, um, Sally Lloyd Jones. Um, I wonder if it's Lloyd Jones her real name. Do you think it's actually Sally Smith, and she just changed it to Sally Lloyd Jones because it was a famous even yeah, yeah, I think so. Big controversy. Um, she's talking about Phil, we're, we're making this up, by the way, everyone. And uh, then <laughs> Phil, and then Phil Vischer from Veggie Tales did one of his, some of his crazy stuff. And uh, but we learned so much about them all. And but the, the prayer is that today will have made a difference. And. Uh, it was a pretty awe-inspiring day, was, and of course the kids were singing at the Grand Ole Opry, singing a bunch of songs, and it was fun. Tomorrow, we're actually homing in on the individual and how the scriptures, and how we can be confident in the scriptures, but confident to grab hold of the scriptures, that we don't play with the scriptures. John Lennox made the comment at the conference last year that people don't have time for the scriptures, and yet the combined hours they spend on tablets and screens in a day uh, is more than the average human being, uh, average human generation they would spend on work. And so we're excited about that, but looking at what it means for individuals. And then I think the appropriate way to finish it is we're doing the world premiere of Kristen's Evensong project tomorrow night. Um, it was a project, she's going to talk about it in a minute, but I think really it's, it's so exciting because, it's, uh, because, it, because it, it, it's, it's helping us finish our day, close our day, sanctify our night. And I think in this season of nervousness, whether it's pride or lust or anger or insecurity, they usually hit us worse at about two in the morning. And so this project is really exciting. And we recorded it at um, Amy Grant's farm, Amy Grant and Vince Grill's farm. Yeah, in Tennessee here. So uh, it was a beautiful, it's something we'd never done before, filming it. And, and your brother, <laughs> your brother made it. So tomorrow night, it's a 40 minutes, the most beautiful concert tomorrow night. Make sure, if you can, you can join <laughs> us tomorrow night for the gospel. We're going to do one of the songs now, aren't we? Yeah, and we've done it before in the family hymn, sing it softly and tenderly yeah, can and I well. For, can I just say Sorry, one more I'm thing? I just want to say one more thing. No, I want to say one more thing. I was, <laughs> I was, I was really excited about singing this as a duet with Kristen. I was really excited about it. I, I thought I would do it and well. And you do a fantastic job. But you dropped me. But I'm saying when Vince Gill. <laughs> oh, jeez. Vince Gill Schmill. Wonderful <laughs> voices in country music. Um, very kindly agrees to come and sing it. Well, we just thought it would be a good, you know. So I got dropped again. Well, it wasn't so much you were dropped. I was, it was, I was, I think it was. Cool. <laughs> 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 you thought it perfected the southern accent. Yeah. Uh, that's what it was. It was the, the accent. Well, you know, this. I'm laughing. <laughs> How funny. This is one of the hymns that we taught our kids quite early on. We started teaching them a hymn a month, and they, they loved it. And it's such a sweet song at night, and that. Of that, that heart cry of every mum and bringing their kids home, folding them back into home and what home means and ultimately our home being in the Lord and above everything else, hoping and praying for our children that they come to him and give their lives to him. But I wrote a new verse for this version. One of the verses that was a constant comfort to me whenever I had babies, and I know it has been for many mothers, is at the end of Isaiah 40 where he gently leads those who have young and such a comfort that when things are crazy and sometimes hard to bear and you feel that you can't push any more, <laughs> that you know that God is gently coming around you and enabling you to do what you have to do. This special gift that it is to be a mother and to lead our children, to lead them to him. And just that word gently and gentleness was such an appropriate because everything can seem so harsh and so tricky and to know the gentle hand of the Lord with us and leading us has always been such a comfort to all of us whether we're leading children or not of course and then I linked it to Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd 
um, that surely his goodness and mercy follow us and come with us um, all the days of our life. So that's the little, the little change in this version. But And Vince Gill's not here. <laughs> but this, if he was here, this is where he would sit. But no. <laughs> would you like to sing verse two? No, no, no. I, I, I could take the hint. <laughs> I, have no, I have no time for your platitudes. Now. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go. Thanks, Zach. Softly and tenderly Jesus is calling calling for you and for me see on the portals he's waiting and watching watching for you and for me Come home, come home, ye who are weary, come home, earnestly, tenderly, Jesus is called.
I give my plenty of shopping for a I like singing with crickets. It's pretty nice. It is, and cicadas. I and miss cricket. <laughs> when, <laughs> Wendell and I, Wendell, Wendell and I grew up playing cricket. That's right. Wow, that was quite a conversational <laughs> leap, but it was a funny one. It's lovely. Love yeah, to play. Thank you for playing. Maggie's trying to do some more bluegrass. On the album, actually, Maggie's mother, Deborah, plays that song, actually. <laughs> 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 well, my mother and Deborah will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I am so dead. I am so dead with Deborah. As soon as it finishes, thanks to Liza. As the girls come, we should tell you, you know, all these different weeks we've had a few plants around. They've yeah. been slowly dying over the summer. The reason That's we okay. got all these plants is because we invested okay. in hand sanitizer last December, and it's <laughs> and, and our stocks. Of, I'm joking. <laughs> That's not funny. Sorry. Anyway, our really. Grissy comes at downtown. We've got a really good friend, um, John Van Wingerden. He has, over the last few years, he's from Ohio. We met him. We lived up there. He's from Holland. He's, he's from Dutch. Holland originally, yeah. We're not much. And for the Sing Conference, he has gifted uh, each year us these beautiful orchids and, and green plants. And so we weren't sure this year because it wasn't in the in the big um, arena or anything like that. We used to usually have hundreds called, and hundreds yeah, of them. I just called them. Scott or John. I called John last weekend, and they went and they've sent tons of so He's down just to support the conference. So to the Van Winkers, to John, to yeah, Scott. Thank you for the, just to the add whole that family. beautiful touch of beauty, and we have them in the studio as well. A little bit of Dutch beauty to yeah. sing global. <laughs> but this uh, this night's song is called um, Power in the Blood, Well Known, Well Loved. What's so great about it is, as, and another song is like this later as well, is that there's a call and response theme to it. It's our, uh, uh, it's repeated, there's power in the blood, power in the blood. And so when you're singing something with kids and they're getting to know maybe a, um, a new song or just starting to sing, a call and response model is a really great idea. So this has been a good one. Girls, are we ready? Are we having an argument back here? Are we all right? Yeah. We're good. We're all right. It's too bright. I know. We got some, some good lights so we can see your lovely smiley face. This is a little later than our usual hymn sing. So it's probably crazy to have your kids singing mm. after eight o'clock, and yet here we are, being crazy together. Um, <laughs> and yeah, this is the darkest okay. it's been, but let's Take it away a second, sing. Mike, let's hear it. <laughs> Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood. Her own company. This was a few weeks ago when it was people. Okay, let's take a, a break. Chance for the girls to 
Can you can you guys go and take a little break, please? This is a good Charlotte chance. And I have coffee. I know. Let's go in, and maybe mm. Anna can give you a little drink, and maybe a little hug. Um, our lovely Anna, who has been nannying with us these last couple of years, we just love her so much, and. She is moving on to a new thing and we are so sad to leave her, but thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna Edwards. She has traveled so many thousands of miles with us and we're so grateful to her. Okay, ready? Ready for her and her? Are you okay? <laughs> Would you like the words? This yeah. carol is the oldest carol of the Americas. Yeah. And uh, in this carol, we talk today a lot about creating art that is vivid and memorable and beautiful and points people to Jesus. And in, in this carol, uh, to, 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 to reach, to, it, it was written for, who was it written for originally? It was, it's a Canadian carol. Canadian and carol. It, um, it was a missionary who came in. And he, so that the language is, was styled after the way that local native people would have understood things. Instead of shepherds, it's hunters. It's, it's different imagery to try and explain the Christmas story. So it's, it's it is a carol. It's from the 1600s, so it's very old. So, I'll take it away and then Emily, you just can enjoy it and do your stuff. What? Fantastic. <laughs> I know that, not from you guys. <laughs> I was going to leave that. You were going to leave that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. If there's any songs that pop up, Josh or Daniel out there, that we can do, let us why know. Do, why doesn't Emily play Bach? I and mean, then we'll just finish with a couple of celebrations. Okay. Well, if it's, yeah, we can see what comes through oh, at that sure. point. But we want to listen to you. Okay. Bye. It'd be absolutely gorgeous. Just you, you oh, yeah. So Emily's going to play this tune. Can I tell, you tell people about it, Emily? It's by Bach. Okay. The prelude to his first cello suite. <laughs> Thank you. 
Zach, Zach and Maggie, do you want to take a tune? Sure. And then we have a couple of requests. You know, I think I oh, let's see who will hold me fast. Okay. So, so we'll do that. We'll see who the one of the requests from online. We'll take a we'll take a break from you. You play a song. We'll take a break for a minute. <laughs> then we'll come back and put more songs. Keith, you're you're plugged in. Keith, you're plugged in. Keith, you're plugged in. Stop, 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 stop. Your guitar is plugged in. There we go. All right, sorry, Zach and Maggie, okay. you take it away. Do you want to say anything about this one? It's called Side Slip. Called Side Slip. This is from Maggie's sweet collection of songs that she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Deborah has just texted me to say, Keith Getty, you're dead. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. So this is Side Slip. <laughs> <laughs> this is Side Slip, song Maggie wrote. A tune. That was some fun. Has anyone fun else playing. call you Wendellian, or has that just been Casey's last few yes, years? Casey. Just Casey. Special. It's well, special. The <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Thanks. So the much. night, the night has gone on way too long. Like, like a lot of missionary talks I had to go to when I was seven years old. Just kind of never ended. Oh, I shouldn't say that. No, sorry. you shouldn't say okay, that. Okay, sorry. Okay, we're going to finish with two. We're going to finish with a couple of songs tonight. One is a favorite. I'm, I'm going to find out, am I playing guitar or piano for this first one? I think they're going to set you up for piano. Oh, cool. So why don't we do that? So so, and it was, there was a special request yeah, that he will hold me fast. He will hold me fast. And can I just say, I, I, we're going to finish with Christ for Hope and Life and Death. Yeah. That, that was co-written with Matt Merker. He will hold me fast wrote, Matt Merker wrote that one. 
Um, Matt has done, hasn't he done just an incredible the job? The work that he has done, Matt Merker has poured into Sing Global is just extraordinary. Yeah, it, he has really been in charge of the entire content side. The entire development side is our friend over here, Josh Sutton, who you can't quite see. <laughs> Josh, do you want to show him your mask? Sure. Here he is. Here's, Zach, here, here, here's Josh Sutton. His, his daughter. <laughs> 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 so if you see, if you're walking in the street tomorrow and you see a guy in a mask, say, "Hey, Joyce Seven, <laughs> thanks, thanks for Sing Global. It was good." Yeah. And uh, um, before we do that, again, I just want to say, you know, today was the Children's Leadership Forum. We've three days left of the conference. Sing Global is a new concept conference because it's a, it is a, it is a conference online, but it actually is a family of people around the world. If you sign up, you are part of it till December the 31st. We've got. 12 discussion groups alone going today between church planters, pastors, young hymn writers, and all this kind of stuff. And then we're also creating, um, by, by October, we will have all 500 concerts, worship services, sermons, talks, discussion groups, how-to seminars, all available to everybody. And you can just be part of this. We call it the largest church music WhatsApp group in history. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we, want, but we want you to be part of it. We want to hear your voice and we want to en encourage you with that. So I want to mention that to you. Also, if you haven't had enough music today, if five, you hours, will not have had. If five hours online is not enough. And there's a lot of people, yeah. Um, They're good. There's a, the late night concert at the conference is featuring <laughs> Shane and Shane, uh, who many of you will know and we love. And we'll have to have him here sometime to do this. And uh, by the way, Shane and Shane are in the late night concert tonight with our friends at Christian Healthcare Ministries who yes, have so graciously sponsored the conference. Is Matt Merker around or is he still working? I think Matt Merker's still working. You might have to work some more, Keithy. He's, he's, he's still, still the, the studio, studio working. Okay. okay. So I'll, I'll be Matt Merker at the piano. So I'll play piano for this one? I would love you to play piano. Okay. And, awesome. and we just got the piano tuned yesterday. <laughs> so we've gone through all three. So the, the, the piano tuner was meant to come the day after quarantine started. So we canceled it. And we sent him it. home. We paid him, but we sent him home because yeah. he said, you can't come in. We can't come in. And it doesn't matter because no one will ever hear our piano. And then we've, we've <laughs> played this out of tune piano now for four or five months. So today. It's not out of tune. Fantastic. So, so we open the doors up. As soon as and let the hate yeah. go in. And <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll walk around and play. And then <clears throat> yeah, will you, will you play along with us? Thank you. It's been um, great to be able to have the patio. We're grateful for it because it's enabled us to bring all you folk here during this quarantine time.
Christ will hold me fast, precious in His holy sight. He will hold me fast. He'll not let my soul be lost. His promises shall last. Bought by Him at such a cost, He will hold. Christ will hold me fast, justice has been satisfied, he will hold me fast. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maggie. Thank you, Emily. Thanks for joining us. Okay, we're going to join in our final hymn of this evening, a hymn written just before the pandemic happened and has been used in great ways since then. Oh, great. We're going to sing one final song, girls. Well 
what shall we sing? Christ he lives. Christ he lives. Christ he lives. And what reward will heaven bring? Everlasting. for singing so well. That's such an encouragement to us. And what? Jim is still here. <laughs> Pastor Jim, yeah. would you come and pray for us as we close this night? And just to, I know, sorry, we didn't pr plan that, but if you want to come over. Um, girls, do you want to head over beside Anna? Would you go beside Anna so Pastor Jim can come over so we can keep all the right? Good girl. And remember after, um, for those that with Sing Global to catch the CHM um, support a concert with Shane and Shane right after this. So stick around, please. But let's close our evening. Thank you so much. Thank Jim, you. It's this. been such a delight to be here. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness to us. And uh, we thank you that you do hold us fast. We thank you that you are our hope. Uh, and even as these proclamations and declarations that we make fall from our lips, I pray, Lord, that they would uh, take deep root in our hearts and our souls and our minds. Um, grant to us a clearer vision of your truth, a greater faith in your power, and a more confident assurance of your love toward us. Pray your blessing upon Sing Global 2020. Um, each and every participant, each and every person that's uh, uh, joining in online, Lord, I pray that you'd uh, fill our hearts with a, a song of joy and a sweet song of salvation. Uh, we thank you for your grace, your love, and your mercy. Have your hands upon your servants here uh, as they uh, continue uh, with Sing Global. And uh, be honored and, and be delighted as your children delight in you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Good night.